Hello YouTube and welcome back to the Drunken Cobalt. Today we are going to be looking at the Goblin Diplomacy Quest for RuneScape 3. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come to this goblin village here. Now if you wanted to do this for D&D there is a goblin village pathfinder set. It doesn't quite look like this but actually it doesn't look like this at all. But it's still a really good goblin set that you could populate with a ton of goblins. If you wanted to get some unpainted goblins so that that way you could paint the armors to represent both like the green and red armors that these guys are constantly fighting over, you could. Now we're going to go into here and we're going to talk to either of the generals here. Um, they will start the quest. All right, so you're gonna hear a little. You're gonna read that bickering dialogue. Uh, you can rapid click it to skip it if you want, uh, but we're just gonna be like, "Do you want me to pick an armor color for you?" And Wardface is gonna be like, "As long as you pick green." Bent Nose is gonna be like, "Pick red," and I'm like, "What about a different color?" And that is what starts the Goblin Diplomacy quest. Now, to start this quest, it's going to show that you need a blue die or two woad leaves and five coins. That is the woad leaves there. Red die or three red berries and five coins. So there's your three red berries. You're going to have the five coins to do this quest. And yellow die, two onions and five coins. We have our two onions here. Now, what it does not say is that you need goblin mail to complete this quest. Um, so we're going to do that. Orange armor might be good. So, the first thing that you're going to do is create orange armor. And to do that, you're going to get a die in Draenor made with these three berries and these two onions. So we're going to teleport there. And it's going to be super quick and easy. Now, if you want to follow, get all your stuff prepped ahead of time, Woad leaves, or you're going to teleport there really quickly just to show you guys, and then I'll teleport back. Uh, if you're a free-to-play player, which this quest is designed for, um, you can get woad leaves just over here. By speaking to Weiss and the Gardener, you go down to buy woad leaves, and they're 25 gold each. Now, if you talk to him, there used to be an option here. Ask about woad leaves. If you say 20 coins, he, I don't think he goes for it. Okay. So, if you go here to the buy woad leaves, it's going to be 25 coins each, and you're going to pay 50 coins. If you do that, I'm glad that that is still an option. You can get your two that you need for the quest for 20 gold, which is 10 gold each. It saves you a lot of money. And now I have two extra world leaves for demonstrating that, but whatever. If you are a member, I believe you can farm world leaves. But uh, we're going off of a free-to-play thought here right now, so... So now we're back in Draenor. We have our we have our dye ingredients. So all in all, you're going to need 25 gold to complete this quest. Sorry, just drank a soda. 
Uh, you're going to need 25 gold all in all to complete this quest. You're going to come down here to the, um, Aggie's Hut. And you're going to select Make Dies Aggie. And we're going to go Red Die. We're going to Make Dies Aggie. We're going to get some Blue Die here. And we're going to Make Dies Aggie and get some onions here to get that. And there we go. There's our dies. Now, you can mix these any way you want. You can mix red and blue to get purple. You can mix per, uh, blue and yellow to get green. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to use the red die with the yellow die to get an orange die. And we're going to put it on the goblin mail. And then because they're going to send us for this again, we're going to use our blue die on our goblin mail and get a blue armor. Now, you're going to need to kill goblins for these, or you can buy them from the Grand Exchange. But we're going to teleport back to Falador now that we have all of our armor set up that we need for this quest. And then eventually they're just going to say brown armor, which is the armor they already had. But, uh going to be a really super super quick simple quest uh, especially if you round up everything before time if you're training in goblins like you're you know you're starting out your range or your um mage or even your melee skills they drop armor fairly frequently getting goblin mail is quite simple So, yeah, no, this place, like I said, you could set up. Uh, let's look here. You got some pine trees here. So the pine trees uh, you can get from Michael's. You can get them from really any hobby store that sells uh, miniatures and terrain because they go good on uh, Warhammer. So you're going to need some uh, pine trees. Uh, the flags and banners, uh, you can get unpainted or 3D print them, paint them yourself. The Goblin um, Camp from Pathfinder Battles uh, will set up a crude version of this, not quite the one you're looking for. Goblin Minis, Pathfinder Battles, Icons of the Realms, Nulzers, Deep Cuts. Goblins are an abundant mini. But like I said, if you go with the unpainted ones, you can do the paint jobs to make them match these goblins here for their armor. But uh, we're going to go back and we're going to talk to General Bentnose or um, Wartface, whichever one you click first. So you're going to go through this whole spiel again. They don't recognize you right away and just like, you know, be like, hey, you brought the armor. I have some orange armor here. Grubfoot. So this guy here, he wears red armor. Uh, so he is aligned with Bent Nose. But they he they he does whatever he's told. And then, I'm going to try something here. You can't wear armor. It's going to say it's too small for a human, so if you misclick that. But, uh, bet knows. I have some blue armor here. And that is one way to uh, skip the spiel, is use the armor on the generals. So now Grubfoot, in his orange armor, is going to put on some blue armor. Humans, get us brown armor. And then it's like, I thought that was the armor you were trying to change from. Never mind, anything is worth a try. Goblins are not smart at all. Um, and that is very applicable even in 
RuneScape. So these guys would be the equivalent of a goblin boss stat block um, for Dungeons and Dragons. And then you're going to get five quest points, 200 crafting experience lamp. I don't know why they give lamps when it's a set experience, but whatever. Uh, a gold bar, 125 fresh start world progress points. That is a lot of points. But, and then your two treasure hunter keys, which you can't use yet. Because uh, this is fresh start worlds. Crafting experience. Yes. And there we go. That is the quest. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about Goblin Diplomacy, leave them down in the comments down below. If you feel I des deserved it, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. And in the meantime, cheers and may the rolls be with you.